Welcome to Centerville, Mississippi, and this is Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown. We are here at Pastrana Land. We are lighting it up figuratively and literally. I'm here with Travis Pastrana. I'm here with the man himself, Kevin Windham. Oh, oh, we have guys. Welcome to Maryland. We are here at Pastrana Land. It is the third and final stop of the 2021 Pit Bike Triple Crown. Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Coleman alongside Trevor Piranha. And well, last year, Piranha, we did two of these as standalone events. But this year, we've combined three of them together, hence the title, the Triple Crown. But we're doing this in the span of 10 days. Now, this party started a little while ago back down in Mississippi at Kevin Windham's Farm 14. Yeah, we like to do everything bigger and better. So this year, we got 18 of the biggest names that we could think of, 24 pit bikes just to have a couple spares, and a dream of building the biggest tracks you've ever seen on these things. And Kevin Windham delivered. He built one of the steepest, gnarliest tracks we've ever seen for pit bikes. And on day one, riders were backing out left and right. They wanted no parts of it. We had riders backing out. We had some equipment issues right out of the gate. We had some weather to contend with as well, but that was stop number one. Stop number two, we headed nine hours north. It was back to the Sipes compound for bluegrass brawl number two, where the courses were bigger and better. Yeah, and what you thought Wyndham's would have really tested the bikes and broken more stuff, but it proved to be Sipes' compound with the supercross, the straight rhythm, real tight ups and downs, a flat track and a GNCC. Those events really worked the riders and broke the bikes more than anything we've seen so far. So basically what you're saying is it's been anything but normal over the last eight days. And here we are now at Pastrana Land. We've got more badness on tap here for this event, but right now it is a very, very tight points race going into the finale. How do we look on the standings? Well, Ryan Sipes has a six point lead over his brother Pooh Sipes. Joe Dirt sitting in third place, followed by Stank Dog and Smalls. And wouldn't you know it, the legend K-Dub, Kevin Windham rounds out our top six. On the team front, it's tbparts.com out front, followed by Power Plus, Pit Viper Sunglasses, Black Rifle Coffee Company, and Zip Recruiter. So it is a very tight points race, especially between our top five. But right now, let's send it down to the third member of our team, JT, who's down with Travis Pastrana for a guaranteed rate course preview. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm here with Travis Pastrana right now, who's going to give us the guaranteed rate course preview. Oh, it's not course. It's courses there, JT. We're going to start out with the Pit Viper, Viper Pit. Then we're going to Isle of Pastrana Land, and then MFX, Mini Freestyle. And then Hubert Cross, looking forward to everything. What's your favorite? Honestly, the Mini Freestyle, I never thought would happen, but to see Freestyle Motocross on pit bikes, this is the one I'm excited about. Definitely the most carnage. Looking forward to the day. Thanks, JT. Well, Piranha, after that course description, uh, for lack of a better term, there's a lot of crazy things going on in the woods here. Uh, speaking of crazy, the first one right out of the gate, it's the Viper Pit, so I'll let you take that one away. Yeah, it's a figure eight course. It's designed to be a wall ride, high speed course. It was never really designed for competition, but it's uh, it's one of those things that's gonna eat all these riders alive if they're not too careful. It's high speed with a lot of potential sketch. Let's get trackside and get to it. Blake, we're about to kick off the Viper Pit here. What's your wager on whether or not anybody gets hurt today? I mean, the wager at Pastrana Land's usually pretty high, but um, it seems two at a time, it seems safe, so I'm not sure why Travis hasn't thrown 10 people in at once. Piranha, we have two replacement riders to start, Banksy, a local ripper, and motocross legend Thomas Covington, who was just here to watch. We're going to see a lot of replacement riders today, as this week of racing's really taking its toll on our competitors. Here we go! Thomas Covington, Team USA, Motocross Nations 2019. Leading here Banksy, Banksy in second. There are two replacement riders filling in. This is going to be one hell of a good time right here. Banksy just wide open, wrapping it out in second gear. Oh, a little head shake through there. Definitely getting dizzy right here. Covington breaking out of formation. Banksy closing in the gap. Going to do the finish line. Wow, what a heck of a run. That is Probably the powerhouse team of the final day. They're coming in fresh. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Covington and Banksy. What a hell of a run there to lead things off. Here we go with the next bracket. Team Therabody sitting in seventh place right now with 122 points. You got Corey Steed with the fill-in for Becca Sheets. You got Mark Brown, a late replacement, coming in this morning. 
Brown's a little aggressive. It looks like he really wants to run her over. Really sure why he's pushing her so tight, but definitely the bump draft seems to be good. He could just fall back just a little bit, but. We're gonna see how this plays out in the times here in a second. A bold strategy. If one of them crashes, they both go down. We're never short on replacement riders, Travis. Coming in one lap to go. Looks pretty good. Bilko, he has got the flag out. And here they come across the finish line. One, two, bam, bam. I was pretty scared out there, not going to lie. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's concrete. If you go down, it's going to hurt. Or putting your leg out, I see you guys put your foot out. There's nothing good that could come of that. Absolutely not. But hey, we're at uh, Pastrana Land, so I think that's what it's about. That's what it's about. That is absolutely what it's about. Let's get back to racing. Here we go, Team Guaranteed Rate and Dusty Weigel, a very, very strong performer. He helped build this. Uh, we got Wyndham Jr. And if you're not cheating, you're not trying. So we've got an idea. But here we go. Bud's going to pull off right here. Dusty's like a freight train out there. He looks unstoppable. And he almost loses the knee. And then, oh. Ow. My foot slipped off. Your time's still on. This wasn't a skate competition. Yeah, I got I got my I got a little crossed up on my sports tricks. Shouldn't have tried to board slide the top of the Viper pit. I have to say that's a world's first though. It it's not really one you want. The Viper pit bites again. Oh. We're gonna have to go to the judges to see if this earns him yet another orange hat. <laughs> I don't want another orange hat. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through our first event in the Viper Pit. When we come back, we'll have more racing here from the finale of the Pit Bike Triple Crown. Welcome back to Pastrana Land, the third and final stop of the 2021 Pit Bike Triple Crown. We're halfway through our first event. Let's send it back down to JT with more from the Viper Pit. Hey, this thing's coming down to the wire. You know, uh, things got, we're kind of chill at my house. You get the sides, it picks up a little bit more intensity, but now we're at the final round. Points are tightening. I think everybody's taking their gloves off. I think it's going to be low blows all day long. You climbing up to fourth place. Yeah, well, I, you know, the ride up here hurt my back pretty bad, but I think nothing like a uh, Viper pit to uh, really get me back in the game. Team Pit Viper, third overall in the points for team points. Uh, these guys really need a solid performance here. I was expecting a little more out of Greg Duffy. Doesn't seem to be uh, using that normal Duffy aggressiveness, but it is before the crack of noon, so he doesn't like to be up for now. It's all about survival out there, Trav. You just got to get through three more events, so it's important to survive this one. Oh, Stank Dog almost going over the berm. There's about a 20-foot drop on that side. You do not want to do that. Stank Dog every time. Look, feet on the foot pegs, using very different strategy here. Here we go, final turn. Yeah, baby. I'd have to say that Kevin Windham's probably the most gangster of all the uh, the OG Supercross riders. I mean, I don't think McGrath would be out there with ankle socks on and new balances, I'll tell you that much for sure. Let's go. All right, here we go, Kevin Windham, Ryan Sykes, Team Power Plus. Windham is just straight off the couch. What are you planning on coming in? Oh, 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 man, this is they scary. They got a close 13 so points. Fast. Both feet on, on the foot pegs. Look at Sipe standing up. Oh, my gosh. They this almost is, dropped their shoulder This into is the that most corner. impressive thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Me and Kevin Wyndham for a couple more events. Oh, my hey, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. I think he's getting dizzy he's out there, getting dizzy. Here we go, final. That was the most impressive thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I've seen the greats. I've under seen 30, a sub 30 under 30 time. seconds leading. Team Power Plus, first place. Not only going for speed, but style too. All you needed was a couple practice laps, and you just fell into this. Well, I felt so safe in my uh, blue jeans and ankle socks and uh, no gear on. But look, man, Sipes got me fired up this morning. We're uh, a lot of people are thinking about who they're going to beat. We're just out here to do the best we can, and I think, man, I, I want to win again. It's been a long time. I've been retired a long time, and hopefully we can get it done. I got some tough events coming up, but I think uh, this Viper Challenge was a uh, good, good deal for me. That was excellent. What'd you think of your teammates' performance there? 
I'll tell you one thing, there's nothing like having your teammates step up to where you're not comfortable. But I love that, because I'm like, all right, here we go, boy, let's go. Let's hold it wide open, go way faster than I wanted to go. Had some close calls, he did, I did, uh, but sounded like we come out on top, so that was fun. Well, that was absolutely nerve-wracking to watch. However, the Viper Pit definitely lived up to the hype. However, how about that tandem of Kevin Windham and Ryan Sipes? Oh, K-Dub and Ryan Sipes went absolutely faster than we ever thought was possible in that Viper Pit. And K-Dub was wearing tennis shoes to do it. The Traxxas Best Crash Award definitely goes to Dusty Weigel for his pit bike lip slide in the Viper Pit. We're glad you're okay, Dusty, and thanks a lot for that show. Okay, so one down, three to go, but this next one we call the Isle of Pastrana. So what exactly does that entail? So a lot of these riders have never been here before, so this is the 30-second tour, right through the property. Starting at the gate, down the driveway, through a sea of rental cars, quickly through the shop in case they need to fix anything, and then straight back to the pit bike track where they're gonna do the rest of the racing. So basically, it's a mad dash across Pastrana land for some valuable points. Let's send it down to the start here for the Isle of Pastrana. All right, so this race, the Isle of Pastrana, as we're calling this one, and this one's gonna be another one of those mad dashes, much like we did at Farm 14 over at the Wyndham compound. This one's gonna be crazy. They've got a start gate way over there on the other side of the compound, and they're basically gonna have to race through the woods. It's gonna be a mad dash for some valuable points. So of course, Travis Pastrana has put some obstacles on the track to start this race. Cody Camp goes down in the first bottleneck next to the Black Rifle Coffee Company truck. As the pack makes its way into the Pastrana Land garage, it's Team Traxxas out front, followed by Team Zip Recruiter and Wild Mike's Ultimate Pizza. Out of the garage, into the dirt. The competitors are starting to pick up some speed now. Corey Steed is trying to stay ahead of Stank Dog. Caleb Carter's worked his way through the pack. And it's Greg Duffy making some moves up front. Into the Hubert cross track, it looks like three fresh replacement riders are going to be first across the Zip Recruiter finish line, putting some valuable points on the board for both Team Traxxas and Zip Recruiter. Hey, no guy, you know. <laughs> Coming in right in right up front. Where you, did, did you lead the whole race? Yes, sir, I did. It was a good race. It was hold her wide. The Eagles are flying, so we're doing good. Well, Piranha Speed is the name of the game when it comes to racing, and uh, well, that one was so fast, if you blink, you might have missed it. As a matter of fact, I, who won that? I have no idea. That's Banksy. That's one of our replacement riders. Filling in from Magical or Beerman, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. We've gone through more replacement riders than we ever thought we would need for this. We've exhausted all of our spare pit bike for running out of spare parts. Like, Thankfully, this is the last stop. We've got a higher turnover rate than a temp agency, and it's far from over right now. When we come back to Pastrana Land, we've got more pit bike madness still to come. Welcome back to Maryland for the Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship. We are two events down with still two events to go, and well, on the individual point standing, it's still a pretty tight race, Piranha. Yeah, we got Ryan Sipes at the top, and all the other guys have been on a nine-day bender, and they're doing the best they can, Jimmy. Well, that is the individual standings. However, we still have the team race, and again, that one's a pretty tight battle as well. Actually, not much has moved. They're closing some points gaps, but we still have TV parts and a pretty good lead. Well, that brings us down to our next event, which has absolutely nothing to do with racing whatsoever. It's all about having fun, and it's also a good little insight into the mind of Travis Pastrana. We call it the freestyle free-for-all. Now, what exactly does that entail? Now, I'm pretty sure this is the reason that this is the last stop on the Triple Crown. This is Travis's like, trump card to try and beat Ryan Seitz. Ryan Seitz's weakness, against Travis is obviously freestyle, and Travis will do anything he can to beat Ryan Sipes. Now this one's all about having fun, and Travis is all about showmanship, so you're definitely gonna have to put that in the mix to try to pander to him. Let's send it down to JT with the start here, freestyle, free for all. I'm here with our chief of safety, Street Bike Tommy. All right, let's go ahead and talk about how this contest is gonna go down. Each rider gets two attempts on the ramp. There is one judge, Mr. Travis Pastrana himself. Is there any elimination? None at all. So you just do your two runs, no matter what it is, you keep what you get. That is it. It's best of your two. Yeah, don't suck. Don't suck or do. Now let's go over to Jimmy and Piranha and get this thing kicked off. All right, here we go, Piranha. It's the free fall freestyle, otherwise known as Impress Me. Cody Camp started off taking it upside down, Piranha. That'll get approximately, I don't know, that's probably a one, maybe a 1.5. I mean, backflip, that's, that's pretty much a warm-up trick. All right, we got Ryan Sipes, your points leader, number uh, 264. Coming in hot, hitting the bigger side. We got a heel clicker. Looked like he was going for something else on the landing, didn't quite pull it off, shakes his head. 
not exactly claiming it. Um, so yeah, Ryan Sipes, heel clicker. Uh, I'm gonna give him a four on that one. But Kevin Jr. Nothing. Yes. All right, Bud's gonna take the lead based on that was the first trick that I made to cover Racer X with you and the no nothing. I mean, you were, you were talking 1994, but I think Bud moves up to a 6.1. Here's another replacement rider, Mark Brown filling in for Becca Sheets. All right, here we go, Becca Sheets going for the 360. He went for the Militia Twist. The Pit Bike 260. I don't think she had any plan of riding away from that. She just went full send to get the impress me points on that one. Just on the commitment with that, I'm gonna give him an 8.5. The 88, we got Hill coming up. Oh! Yeah. To the no-footed lander! A little bit of a foot dab. He kind of got a little right away on that one with maybe uh, two feet down, but Traps, Traps sounds impressed. We're talking the coffin, which Mike Jones claimed after I had already been doing a lazy boy with no hands, but we'll give it to him. Um, I'm gonna give him a 5.5 uh, for Hill. Who Sipes. Who Sipes one of the taller riders on the bike. Heel clicker, just landing on the seat. That is extra impressive because how tall he is to try to ride out of that in the surfer stance. You know, he's so tall, it might have been easier for him to not get his feet back around the bike, just stand on the seat. All right, 8.4, I'm gonna put him into second place with that one. It's like the king is pleased up there. He seemed yeah. awfully surprised. Yeah, um, never, I thought, thought that up when we were sitting there waiting and uh, it worked somehow. And Kevin Windham eats your heart out. with another hard crash, gets up, claiming it. That is definitely the highest points for a backflip that I've given out today. All right, I'm gonna move him. Uh, that's a solid 7-5 for Hardcastle. That was a bigger disaster than the Patriots losing to the Falcons. Yeah, we're going down. We're going down, we're going down, bro, man. You got one more attempt, one more attempt. Get in there, Hardcastle. Look at the bars on that bike, wow. Tank dog dropping in, ladies and gentlemen. He's been impressing me all week, had some pretty big crashes, still sitting fourth in the championship. Oh! And if that wasn't my motorcycle, it would have been a perfect 10. However, I think that might be a zero. Stank Dog, I do like the backflip, I like the commitment, I like that he, uh, full tribute back to uh, 1999 X Games. Body flip to Ghost Ride, that thing just ragdolled down the landing. Stank! <laughs> I think that was the definition of sending it. Uh, yeah, they said do the Brian Deegan, so that was my best impression of the Brian Deegan. <laughs> oh, a little burn on that one, Stank. Good luck on your second run. All right, here we go, Troy Smalls. Um, he needs a big score here. He's hitting in the second gear, which is interesting. Good underflip. Wow. I, I don't think... Jimmy, I don't think you could have landed that any cleaner on a pit bike. Just sent that thing on the underflip. I think I tried to go a little sideways, tried to do a little whip, but I don't know, maybe it worked. Yeah, it looked good, it looked good. Good luck on your second run. But here we go, we got a flat tracker. Oh. oh. Yeah, pizza delivery, I, it was like Paperboy. 0 0.1, he's not in last. A little sponsor plug there for Wild Mike from Johnny Lewis. Here we go, Greg Duffy, Maryland record crew, coming up round one. Oh, with a little Captain Morgan action. The crabs are ready. It worked. <laughs> kind of. That was beautiful. Ah, uh, crowd's not pumped, so whatever. Ah. I'm <laughs> All right, Banksy, he's been uh, showing everybody up in practice, but he's got to pull off something big. What do we have here? You cliffhanger. Lands it, dials it in. I like that a lot. That was, uh, that was really cool. There you go. That was smooth. Oh, yeah, I was just letting her hang out. Well, you got it. You got it. The Eagles took over halfway through, and, you know, I just kept her going. Well, I think that one's going to score big on the points. Oh, yeah. One thing to note, we have not seen Jim York, and we have not seen Come Over Steve, who is filling in. I believe uh, I believe Jim York's filling in for Dusty Weigel, if I'm not mistaken. And then Come Over's filling in for Kevin Windham. Jim York, part owner of Pit Viper, Riding for Team Guaranteed Rate and jumping a black rifle three-wheeler because he already destroyed Pit Viper three-wheeler earlier in the year uh, should be uh, should be a good good run here. So he is looking for some redemption out here at Mastrana Land. 
I would warn everybody down there in the athlete staging area that the two of those three attempts went left. This oh, could boy. be a world's first. Oh! oh. Come over, Steve, jumping in for Kevin Windham. Uh, he's been pretty excited, hasn't taken any practice runs today. As he's going for the jump, yeah. looks like a back, oh, heel clicker backflip, come over, Steve. I think he almost got a handlebar someplace, he didn't want it, but but he's up. Still to come at the Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship, it's round two of the freestyle competition, and the crew battles for glory at the Traxxas RC Triple Crown. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pastrana Land for the third and final stop of the Pit Bike Triple Crown. We are halfway through our freestyle comp, but right now, let's throw yet another curveball into the mix. Only from the mind of Travis Pastrana could you get a Triple Crown within a Triple Crown. We've got our friends from Traxxas that have put together a fun little outing for the athletes. It's the Traxxas RC Triple Crown. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Two, one. Go, Fastest name in radio control right here, and there goes the GoPro. You know, Team Tracks is really pulling this one out here. There, there's a lot of smart driving going on. This is not what we saw in practice, that's for sure. Fastest name in radio control, baby. Super disappointing for me. Um, really thought I was a little better than that, but as it turns out, I wasn't. We are pairing no! a Traxxas radio control truck with a pit bike and making them race each other. Taking the pit bike win with a wheelie across the finish line, one-handed wheelie. I'm the best there ever was, the best you ever seen. Me and Jim York, Team Pit Viper, were taking this gold trophy home. I don't see this going well. Oh! oh. oh. Definitely putting Traxxas vehicles up to the test as we speak. TB Parts with the sabotage. <laughs> Travis Pastrana doing, doing very well. Oh, you have a landing, Traxxas. It's like a total even match because the cars weigh almost as much as most of these riders. Jump it, jump it, over him, over him. Oh, oh, oh! We can't clear that jump on the pit bikes from this tight corner, but the, the cars do, and I forgot that. Yes! No! Yes! giving us a car that really stayed together out there and just uh, my teammate for doing a great job all day and we really just dominated. Congrats Team Zip Recruiter. It's Blake, Bilko Williams and Cody Cam for the Traxxas RC Triple Crown win. The freestylers are back at the ramp, ready to send it. JT's with Ryan Sykes. Round one for freestyle is complete. You're currently in last place. What's your strategy going into round two? Dude, do something dumb, I guess, because I tried to be smart and like do a Hill clicker, one hand lander, didn't get the one hand land. Trav scored me junk, so I gotta try something stupid. Again. You do know who's the one and only judge for this, right? I know, I know. It just now, even like, I'm, I can't even do backflips. I would do that, but that got a little score too, so I gotta try something really dumb, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go into round two. All right, here we go, Cody Cam, round two, starting it off again. Hill clicker. Ah, uh, well, round two, yeah, I mean, that. It's almost like a negative. Hey, you guys, just so you know, this is your last run. Like, do better. Ryan was less than enthused with the result that he got that first go around. Oh, here we go. Here comes a backflip. Here comes a backflip. Heel clicker. One hander lander. Oh, uh, he added one thing. One Come thing. On. You were told how to win. You couldn't even take off both hands? That was the one trick. Most dismal trick that I was actually told by X Games judges one time that if I did another one hand lander, I was going to be penalized. Two points. What a stank dog bring to the party here in round at number two, Brian. Oh! 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 Stank dog with a 360! 
almost a 360 to nose pick. Almost a perfect three on a pit bike. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those, Jimmy. The first perfect score here at Pastrana Land goes to Stank Dog. Full commitment right there, ladies and gentlemen. We were behind. Maybe broke the collarbone, but <laughs> we're okay. All right, you feeling good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Freestyle, look at the look at the takeoff. It was perfect that that is nice and muddy and slick. Gave that little extra look. I mean, that is a perfect 10 in my book. All right, here you go. Becca Sheets dropping in for a second. Um, so Mark Brown, see what he's got. And there he goes. Oh, man. The perfect militia twist right there. Did you see the second the second guess on that? He looked he looked back in the middle of the rotation. What the hell? <laughs> Woo! I just held on and seen where it went. What was that? I wasn't gonna leave. <laughs> well, that was amazing. You had the height, you had the rotation. I bet you had a good score. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Smalls back on course. Do we get another shot at the underflip? The last time around the rotation was pretty oh, much there. Oh, the... Did you see him try to drag his face <laughs> off the, dirt, the lander? That was the visor drag going across the knuckle, and the branding is just getting demolished here. I, I tried doing a flare, but you know, I uh, I think that uh, it wasn't the right sign. If we had a Black Rifle Coffee sign there, I think it would have landed. You would have been fine, but I think you're still going to do good points up there for style. Greg Duffy coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Dude! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Superman seat grab, excellent job. Throwing up the most style we've seen all day. I don't have much, man, but I'm pretty good at what I do. Let's see if that puts some points on the board for Team Fit Viper. Right now, I need crack. Jim York. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! Oh. Did you see him hand shift on the approach, Jimmy? He clicked He clicked into second at the top of the, the, the roll in, tried to click third on the straightaway, thank God it, but wasn't sure, so hand shifted into fourth. Jim York with the 9.0, not just because of his failed backflip, it was the back drop was a solid 9.5, plus he shifted on the way up, plus he's on a three wheeler, plus he never let go and got back on. So, um, moves himself into second place right there. Jim! Damn, that was the best thing I've ever seen! How did you land that? If that was a land, my, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Let's go drink. <laughs> Freestyle freefall definitely did not disappoint. I expected a lot of craziness. What I did not expect was someone to throw a 360 on a pit bike, Verona. Stank Dog was so close to landing that. Maybe another two more feet of distance, and he would have been able to bring that around. But he crashed. The perfect score probably got more points for crashing than had he actually landed it. So the points battle continues here at Pastrana Land. However, we are not done yet. When we come back, we're gonna throw it down to a little thing that we call Hubert Cross. Welcome back to Maryland for the Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship. We are three events down with the finale still to come, but first let's take a look at our current point standings. Ryan Sipes still has the lead of the Pit Bike Triple Crown, followed by Pooh, Stank Dog, Troy Smalls, and Joe Dirt. Well, Peron, after looking at those standings, things couldn't be any tighter. And going into this final event, it's Hubert Cross, powered by Traxxas. And well, here, these guys are going to have three different opportunities to earn some points. Yeah, we're trying to close point gaps. We want them to get even tighter. So we're going to give two heats and a main. We're going to take the top nine in points, put them in heat one. The bottom nine in points, put them in heat two. And that'll help the bottom nine stack some points. Well, before we get to it, let's check in with JT, who's down on course with the guy who spent a lot of grueling days and hours putting this course together. It's Hubert Roll. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm here with the man himself, the man this race was named after, Hubert Cross, brought to us by Traxxas. Hubert, what did you make out here? So basically, Travis came to me with ideas, and I just made them better. Last year, one over and under. This year, two. I have horsepower hills. He cried and cried and cried. Don't make any hills, because I can't make it up as fast as everybody else. Oh, well. We have horsepower hill. And the biggest thing is, I want revenge on all these riders that tear up the stuff year round. Luckily, 110s are crazy strong, people aren't. So if I make scary stuff like big doubles, muddy holes and all that kind of stuff, people fall over, get hurt, I don't have to fix them. I only have to fix the bikes. <laughs> well, you heard the sanity here, folks. Riders, good luck. 
Back over to you, Jimmy. Thanks, JT. Thanks, Hubert. Well, we're set to kick off our first race. And in this first group, you've got your top nine in the overall standing. So my question is, actually, I have two questions. How important is that whole shot? And who do you like in this first group? The whole shot's important, but there's three laps. You can kind of reel some people in. And I'll tell you, this whole trip, I've been on Team Troy Smalls. I'd love to see that guy win more events. It's one of three chances you have to earn some valuable points. Let's get to it. It's Hubert Cross powered by Traxxas. Here we go with the first main from Hubert Cross out here at the Pastrana Land stop of the 2021 Pit Bike Triple Crown Challenge, breaking them up to two groups of nine. It's the top nine in current standings, a very tight points race, and we are off, and it's Kevin Windham out to an early lead. Whoa, Windham with a pretty solid looking hole shot. Caleb Carter trying to push his bike faster by his kicking. This is gonna be a battle of the bars. This is the battle we all wanted to see. Kevin Windham leading Joe Dirt. Through the switchback berms. Oh, Carter puts a move on Windham down the hill. Joe Dirt takes the lead. What happened to Kevin? Taking it back up hill, so now it's Joe Dirt, Pooh Sipes, and Kevin Windham is in third, but Troy Smalls was gaining ground on him there. Joe Dirt, Pooh Sipes, TB Parts looking awesome out there. There's a battle of Sipes getting around Duffy, followed closely by Cody Cam, Jimmy Hill, Carter, Pooh Sipes, and Stank Dog. These guys have quite a bit of separation from the rest of the pack. Small still holding on to that number four spot. Stank Dog coming up right behind Pooh. Making some pretty good time. He seems to do better in the later parts of these races. Final lap here in our first main of Hubert Cross. Oh, Troy Smalls almost with the step off right there. Manages to hang on. Stank making up some ground, and Ryan Sipes goes down. Unfortunately, last place this is not going to help his points. Messed up the line, took a digger or mechanical problem, but Ryan Sipes is uh, back of the pack. Kevin Winder tries to wheel in Smalls by grabbing his shoulder up the hill. There we go, coming into the finish line area. Oh, checkered flag, here we go. Caleb Carter, Stank Dog, Who Sipes, one, two, three, is gone. Greg Duffy getting into fourth place. What a ride for Greg Duffy, passing Troy Smalls in the last turn. After that first heat, you were just on a head hunt. It seemed like every lap you changed positions. Yep, moving from the back to the front, man. That's the only way to do it, is to win. We got to uh, go out here in this main event and win that thing, too, just to uh, get myself back in this running for the top three podium. You and your brother still in the top three overall. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Like, hopefully one of us wins it. I mean, if I can't win it, hopefully he wins it. But uh, it's just going to be, it's winner take all, really. We've got Heat 1 in the books. Heat 2 still to come here for the Hubert Cross powered by Traxxas. And well, this heat here, this one is ripe with some replacement riders. What do you think is going to happen this go around, Piranha? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to stay. All those replacement riders are pretty fresh. They're not beat and bruised and battered and demoralized like all the rest of the riders out there. So uh, they have a clear advantage. But if I had to pick someone, I think uh, Corey Steve might be able to take this one. This is the last heat before we get to the main. Let's get to it. Hubert Cross, heat number two in the guaranteed rate start. This is the bottom nine in the standings. 30-second card is out. Who's going to get the early hole shot? Again, three and a half laps. Corey Steed off to a good start. Looks like she might have the hole shot right there, but oh, gets taken really high in turn one. On the inside, Banksy. Followed by... Becca, she's replacement. The replacement riders are a little too fresh out there. They haven't been on the circuit for the last week. Corey Steed drops back to third place. Becca Sheets over. Oh, my gosh, Corey going in hot. This is some good race and battling for the front. The women's team in first and third off to some really good starts right there. Mark Brown with the lead, dropping in the far backside. On the downhill run, it's the Becca Sheets stand-in out in that top spot, I believe. That is the Tyler Berriman stand-in sitting in second, followed by Corey Steed. The wear and tear on the bikes and the riders after five, six hard days of racing and touring is definitely starting to wear on them. Team Traxxas replacement out into the lead, Covington. 
absolutely dominating performance. First time he's been back on the bike since Motocross of Nations 2019. So there you go, and pulling away from the rest of the pack. 51 having a little bit of a slip up right there. Oh, almost casing the lip on that one. Bud Windham getting jumped over. Oh, nice cheater line into second place. That was an epic pass right there on Browning. Corey Steed rounding out the top five behind Bilko's replacement. And that is it. Covington. Team Traxxas taking the lead. Oh, that was the biggest face plant I've ever seen in my entire life. Bilko, we might need your replacement number four. He missed the ramp. The front end broke off the motorcycle. He bent the forks. That was the gnarliest thing I may have ever seen in my entire life. The heat races are set, and going into our finale, it is still tight grouping in the standings. Piranha, who's in the hunt? We've talked about it before, Jimmy. This race is so tight, we have six riders that might be able to take the overall. Both Sipes brothers, Caleb Carter, Stank Dog, Smalls, and even K-Dub has a shot at winning this whole thing. We've got one more race to go. It's the main at Hubert Cross, powered by Traxxas, and the finale of the 2021 Pit Bike Triple Crown when we come back to Pastrana Land. Welcome back everyone to Pastrana Land and the conclusion of the 2021 Pit Bike Triple Crown. Before we went to break, we talked about that very tight points race. And we're gonna throw you another curveball as we go into this main of Hubert Cross powered by Traxxas. In true Nitro Circus fashion, we like to change things up a little bit. It's double points this go around. And Jimmy, to shake things up even more, the top four riders have to start facing the wrong direction. This one is for all the marbles in the overall points race. It's the conclusion of the Pit Bike Triple Crown. Yes, this all come down to this main event for Hubert Cross. Do you have any specific strategy for this? Go fast, haul ass, and chop some heads if I need to. You know what? Could not have been spoken from a truer professional. We are down to the final event here at Pastrana Land, as well as the final event of the entire 2021 Pit Bike Triple Crown Challenge. It is Hubert Cross powered by Traxxas. All 18 riders in the start gate this time around. They're gonna get four and a half laps. We have an extremely tight points race going on. It's Ryan Sipes in the top spot. Two points behind him is his brother Pooh. Then you've got Stank Dog sitting in third. Who's getting that Black Rifle Coffee hole shot, boys? Troy Smalls with the whole shot. That'll be huge if he can maintain that position for points. So again, four and a half laps here in Hubert Cross, powered by Traxxas Main. And Troy Smalls still hanging on to that number one position. And with 18 riders on the course this time around, that means there's an 18 point differential up for grabs here if you get across that finish line first. And Troy Smalls sits in that number four position. It's good to see Banksy dropping back up there into the second place. Uh, really strong rider trying to catch uh, Troy Smalls up the start. Troy Smalls, fifth place in the point, still has a chance at the championship if he can really put the power down. Windham on the cheater bike can't get off better than a fifth place, but... Oh, Duffy goes down. That looks like a hard hit. All right, Spank Dog into the lead now. Smalls lost it there. Now it's Stank Dog out in that number one position, followed by Troy Smalls. And that is the Tyler Berriman proxy in third. So it's Stank Dog, Smalls, and the Berriman proxy. You're one, two, three again. We add an extra lap here. Who Sipes and Ryan Sipes separated by one point and one point difference. They would tie themselves right now for second place with the overall win going to Stank Dog for the lead. mistake that is brown and then oh ryan sipes goes around brown and his brother poo and then messes up in the next corner they go back and forth and back and forth sipes still holding the lead on sipes and right behind him is fourth in the points one two three carter and his teammate poo sipes your overall points leaders are sitting pretty good 
current points leader, Ryan Sipes, now finds himself in that number four position. And Boo Sipes slides behind Caleb Carter, his teammate, and he slides back into that number five position. So again, the story unfolding here, the Sipes brothers only two points apart from one another in the overall standings. Here we go, to the finish, check flag, Stank Dog looking to take the win right now. Stank Dog back flipping to the win. Second place, Banksy with the knack knack. Third place, backflip, fourth place, Ryan Sipes, fifth place, Joe Dirt. Sixth goes to Pooh Sipes, seventh off the track. Oh my gosh, and then here we go, Wyndham in ninth place, just ahead of Corey Steed. I really thought Steed was gonna pass Wyndham on that last lap. She was really catching him. Stank Dog starting, facing backwards. Coming from the back of the pack and take it first to the main event. Yeah, baby. Pit Viper, Nitro Circus, guaranteed rate. Everyone else out here, ultimate thrill. Thank you, Travis Pastrana. Thank you, Ryan Sipes. Thank you, Kevin Wyndham, for this ultimate Nitro Circus triple crown. Started backwards, got the job done, ended it with a flip for the win. How about that finish, Piranha? All 18 riders on the course at the same time. And congrats to Stank Dog, a guy who was dead last at the start of this trip out there at Farm 14. He finds himself on the top of the leaderboard in the overall individual standings. He was dead last at the start of this last race. He started facing backwards and then had to fight his way in four laps to get all the way back to first place, and he did it. He gets the overall individual win, and congratulations to Team TV Parts. That's Pooh Sipes to Caleb Carter winning the team challenge. That is a wrap. We have survived it. Three different stops over the course of nine days. Let's send it down to JT for our award ceremony. In third place of the first annual Nitro Circus Triple Crown is Pooh Sipes. Give him his third place trophy and his crown. And in second place in overall points, which I still think there was some sort of cheating going on, or rig race, is Ryan Sipes. And in first place of the Nitro Circus Triple Crown, the man that told us he would be first place today showed up here, Stank Dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our podium for the Nitro Circus Triple Crown! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for Jimmy Coleman, Trevor Piranha, Travis Pastrana, Ryan Sipes, and Kevin Windham, this was the Nitro Circus Triple Crown. We will see you next year. Kenny Beerman, you got Bud Windham pulling in front of this race, still maintaining the lead position. What's going on out there? It's it's Tyler, but I'll let that one go. All right, I'm here with Chuck Beerman right now. Uh, was checking did this last week. It's Tyler. Trevor Beerman, you didn't pull it off for us. Though. It's Tyler, but maybe Trevor will do better next time. All right, Kyle. <laughs> A shoey and a shoey and a booty. The boot scoop boogie. Oh, yeah, look at that. That was so good.